the poorest people either don't have cars or actually don't drive very far in many cases. What is metadata in your view? Well, metadata is, um, the best metaphor I can give you is take, a, 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 imagine a letter, right? The metadata is the name and address on the envelope, not the content of the letter. I'm sorry about that interpretation. I'm sorry about the words. It gets more complicated when you talk about online. Internet well, it, 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 it does a little, but essentially it's the same principle. I'm sorry for the hurt. If I go to an internet site, that will be recorded and available. The, the, the web address um, is, is part of the metadata. The website. The web, the, well, the web address. The, the electronic address of, of the website. I am really, genuinely sorry. So it, it does tell you the website? Well, it, 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 it tells you the address of the website. That's the website, isn't it? I'm sorry about that interpretation. Bill Shorten uh, is an economic girly man. They must have heaps of cash and they've got to have a package between their legs, let's be honest. <laughs> and I don't need them to speak. They don't even need to speak. Well, Mr President, people do have a right to be bigots, you know. For there to be some suggestion that I have evil in my heart when it comes to the most disadvantaged people in the community uh, is upsetting. Knights and dames in the Order of Australia will be approved by Her Majesty on the recommendation of the Prime Minister. There are many distinguished republics that have knights in their honour system. Guatemala, for example, Peru, Argentina, uh, it's, you know, Brazil. Brazil has a whole series of knighthoods. These people opposite are the cheese-eating surrender monkeys of Australian jobs. 40 jobs a month. 40 jobs uh, in about 30 days. 20 working days in a month. There's uh, five, day, five working days in every week. That's 480 a year. More than one job a day. That's roughly two jobs per working day. That's two jobs a day, a day. per working but, week. So people will be applying for two, two jobs a day. One in the morning, one in the afternoon. I don't think that is too much to ask. If there's any suggestion that I don't care about you or that I have evil intent towards you, I want to say that couldn't be further from the truth. What do you understand Sharia law to mean? Well, I think um, when it comes to um, Sharia, Sharia law, um, you know, to me, it's, um, it's uh, it obviously involves terrorism. Most people working in this building know that it's safe. I don't think it any longer is, and to demonstrate that, this morning, I brought in what could be, I brought this through security, a pipe bomb. You know, we are all part of Team Australia. And he looked at me and he smiled, and you are our captain. <laughs> the government's used the term Team Australia a lot. I'm worried about the emergence of Team Idiot. You wonder why I'm worried about ASC and what they're delivering to the Australian taxpayer? You wonder why I wouldn't trust them to build a canoe, right? I'm not answering any more for you, so goodbye. We'll see you later. So George Brand has handed David Spears a, a Walkley for mm. that, so you'd, you'd have to consider that one, of course. And, uh, and Joe Hockey, that's an interview he'd like to do again. That's the interview that just keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the winner, and it's back-to-back, -back, captain of Team Australia. Look, I'm going to uh, shirt front, Mr Putin. Uh, you bet you are. Uh, you bet I am. <laughs> Last year it was oh, a suppository of all wisdom, so mm -hmm. take your pick. <laughs> mm, that's your front. Okay. Um, there were so many golden moments, though, really. It's great to see were. them all brought together. Yeah.